Hey guys, you're watching Shavers Insider. Now, whether you fancy yourself as a bit of a superhero, a super fan, or even just a super geek, this year's Comic Con would have definitely been for you and was the biggest in the region yet. Some of the coolest celebs and creative talent from across the world came down, making it a completely bonkers weekend. <laughs> yourself yes it's that time again to play superheroes and comic book characters from Darth Vader to the League of Legends pop culture has officially taken over the world attracting over 40,000 visitors and with over 220 exhibitors this year was one of the largest fan conventions in the region and this is Dubai's version of Nerdvana well I'm dressed up as uh, Rengars from uh, League of Legends we are all characters from League of Legends and what's your character Mine is Diana, Lunar Goddess. Tell me, what are you thinking about Comic Con at the moment? Everyone's so short out here, I don't know what to think. I didn't think I'd be full of, surrounded by children. But yes, it's great. It's awesome. You know, who is your character? I'm cosplaying Batman. Okay. Uh, I'm cosplaying the Predator. The Middle East Film and Comic Con, we're four years old. You've seen how much it, it grew last year to, to, to fill out two halls here at the World Trade Center in Dubai. And this year we had to book an extra hall, an extra 50%. I can't explain the growth of uh, an event like this. It's just that everyone comes, everyone enjoys, it's open to, it's all inclusive. It's open to everyone of every race and every culture. They come down here, they join as one happy family and it, it just gets people going. I mean, again, this year with the guests we've got, the guest list we've got, it would bring um, people to any, any con on the planet. The, the celebrity list we've got would be a good list for any con anywhere on the planet. Celebrity guests included Hollywood A-listers and cult legend. Top billing went to William Shatner, the screen icon Captain James Tiberius Kirk, bringing out closeted Star Trek fans at warp speed. Clive Standen of the Vikings, Robin Hood and Doctor Who fame talked about the reinvention of characters and the dramatic power of TV shows. But you can create a character over so many hours of, of drama and that's the that's why I think we're all kind of finding ourselves drawn towards TV. I mean we live in a world at the moment where a lot of the a lot of the films for for at least a long while have all been based around werewolves and vampires and, and, and you know there's very not much of a character arc to, to build in a lot of those films. And then all of a sudden cable TV kind of came along with some amazing scripts. And there was more star power with Sam James Jones, a.k.a. Flash Gordon, who's been taking his superpowers forward into the new generation of film. This brand new demographic opened up for me. I mean, Flash Gordon was on uh, 36 years ago. Uh, so it was my age group and my children. And now Ted came out. And the fan base for Ted, who, who really never saw Flash Gordon, are now watching Flash Gordon. So now it's... It's my age group, our children, and our grandchildren, so it's wonderful. Not forgetting Hayley Atwell, the Marvel Universe's Agent Carter, as well as Julian Anderson of the X-Files, who confirmed that the show will reboot later this year. And Max Landis even proposed a superhero movie to be set right here in Dubai. I would really like, because of all the Egyptian stuff in Moon Knight, I would love a Moon Knight movie set in Dubai. I think that would be incredible because it is good. Moon Knight? Anyone, anyone like Moon Knight? We're at Comic-Con. Moon Knight, who's that? Come on, guys. Wake up. Crazy cosplay fans embraced their alter egos performed in character at the infamous cosplay competition. The contest involves dressing up as your favorite character from a movie, comic, video game or TV series and winning best costume and makeup. Guess what this blood is made of? It's delicious cherry syrup. This is like a zombie from uh, Walking Dead or like Zombieland, uh, Zombie are Famous now. It's a hero character from movies and I'm like, I'm trying to make him like more of a dead and killed with all like that uh, hero uh, things like blood, uh, peeling off, like brain out and like we have like your worms and teeth out, all of that hero thing. So tell me what materials are you using, for example, the nose, the teeth, what, are, what have you actually got here? Uh, we have like liquid latex, all the most is like liquid latex and some like prosthetic are pre-paid and pre-dude uh, uh, before when I came from Kuwait. 
And from the cosplay to cash play, there's actually serious money in comic books. The Comics Village was full of graphic novels, sci-fi and fantasy books from some of the world's largest publishers. This is Amazing Fantasy number 15, which is the first appearance of Spider-Man um, in August 1962. It's, it's a low grade, it's only a 2.5, but we're selling it for 54,000 dirhams. Okay. 54,000 dirhams. Wow. Spider-Man number one. We have Fantastic Four number one. Some very early Spider-Mans. Um, this, for example, Strange Tales uh, 110 is the first appearance of Doctor Doom. This is actually $35,000. So it's approximately about 110,000 dirhams. For gaming geeks, the Game Zone featured exclusive releases, tournaments, and multiplayer gaming options, tech fun, virtual reality, and of course, brand new Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X out next week. Tell us about the game. What are the new special features we can look forward to? It has uh, a lot of new characters, a lot of new moves. Uh, Warner Bros. and NetherRealm, the developer, have been announcing, revealing characters pretty much every week leading up to the launch. Um, everybody's really excited about it. It's just been crazy here the last two days. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the appeal of gaming in the Middle East. It seems to have got really big over here. Yeah, it's growing. It's, it's one of the biggest uh, emerging markets for the video game industry. And uh, a lot of the big publishers are focusing more and more on the Middle East in terms of localizing games and uh, sometimes sanitizing games and just putting a lot more marketing budget into what we do here. Uh, so it's been great, yeah. If you want to develop Chronic Con skills, there are workshops in comedy, animation, the process of character design and developing video games. And illustrator Mira Kuru gave us insights into the history of manga. Osamu Tezuka, the grandfather of uh, manga, he uh, started, funnily enough, not a lot of people know this, but like he, the manga style it was actually patterned after Disney style. So when you see the big eyes, which is kind of like uh, distinctive of like manga style, it's actually more of um, from Disney. Also attracting writers, artists and celebrities from some of the biggest movie franchises. Previews of new Marvel movie Ant-Man drew a crowd. The Artist Alley showcased regional guests such as Mo Aberdeen, creator of upcoming manga Raikin, and the first ever Emirati designed sneakers. Comic Con really was super crazy this year. Stars, games, comics, posters, and action figures, and a scary amount of costume characters, highlighting the growth of pop culture in the region and, of course, the scale of this year's event. So those were the big stories of the month. New districts, fashion stars, and of course, all that craziness at Comic-Con. Hope you loved the show, guys. Remember, you can stay in touch with us. We've got our Facebook page, which is titled Showbiz Insider. And we've also got our Twitter feed, which is at Zoe Showbiz. That's for your international movie star news and Hollywood gossip. We'll be back same time next month with more local legends and international stars. See you then.